I created this image after seeing a lot of really sad news about Ukraine and the crisis there. And uh, it's supposed to represent a Ukrainian woman um, whose culture and people are under attack. Obviously very sad, but I didn't want her to look hopeless because one thing about the Ukrainian people that has been so inspirational to me is just how hard they're fighting for their culture. Tell me about the flowers and, and the fact that some of them are falling. Yeah, flowers are meant to represent, and the braid are, are meant to represent um, the Ukrainian culture. And the flowers are falling because the buildings in Ukraine are crumbling right now, and her braid is coming undone, which is why I named this print um, Unraveling. Another amazing part of these artworks is how they're created. The process all starts by spilling coffee. I use coffee to splatter because when it dries, it comes up with some really interesting shapes. So this would be a beginning for you. You sprayed or splashed coffee onto this page. Yep. And then do you see an image coming out of that? I do, I do. So sometimes it takes me a few days, sometimes a few weeks. I'll just like prop it up and kind of just as I'm walking by, see what first comes to my eye. But yeah, I think for this one, I have an idea already what I'd like to do. What do you think this will be? I think this will be a mother bird with a feeding a baby bird. Where do you see this? <laughs> so here I can see two wings kind of up like this so the mother bird is in flight. This is the mother bird's uh, head here. I can see it already. <laughs> that was fast. And the baby here with a little bit of a nest. This painting is um, a way to actually uh, fundraise, which I'm really excited about for the Ukrainian people. And so far I've been able to raise uh, $500. 100% of the proceeds are going to the Red Cross. For information on how to order a print, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Oshawa, Audra Brown, City News.